Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In today's video update here for Quant, we are trading at $104.64, 24-hour volume, we're down 10%, and market cap, we're down 3.60%. Heading over to our daily chart here, it is looking very, very bearish for Quant itself. We may retest this area of support at $101.09, and depending on the actual outcome of our MACD indicator, as we can see, these bars or these histograms are getting darker in the color, and most importantly, possibly going to get bigger in the first wave itself and if we can imagine the first wave as we can see back here in November 11th and 12th broke through multiple areas of our fib retracements and as we can anticipate coming down and retesting an area of support and having our MACD indicator going stronger in the momentum we are most likely going to see the $95 hitting us anytime soon so again very very bearish here that we are seeing quant in our daily time frame we are going to see the price moving fairly quickly here and a retest of this area of $101.90. But let's head over to immediate short term for four hours. Now, as the four hours we can see, we are going into a parallel channel that is angled downwards. So we may come down and retest this area of support at $100.20. As we can see already that the RSI itself is decreasing as we saw a decrease of the price itself and coming down to an area of correction. Now, if we do see that this white line, our K line, and our D line itself crosses over in an uptrend, it will initiate a small pullback coming up to an area of resistance tested by a few of these candlestick nodes at $105. Depending on the outcome, again, with our MACD indicator pairing it off with our RSI, we can see that the momentum of our MACD indicator only had very small indications of a bearish market here. So just two of these histograms or these bars are in the red. Now, it gives us some hope and some um, some hopes here that it may actually turn into green. And if we do see that area of our change of our MACD indicator from the red over to the green, at the same time, we see this area trigger a buying opportunity. Price itself is going to come up. And here it is, the resistance line that we do want to break above here to break this channel on a four hour time frame is $106.80. So this is going to be our target here to be able to break above and if we see numerous candlesticks break above our 61%, we have confirmed that initial breakout. But let's kind of deep dive into immediate short term for two hours. Now the two hours here, we can see the last candlestick close more than 50% of the previous red candlestick action in exhaustion of this downtrend. Now what we can see here is numerous gaps. We saw this gap here that we are essentially filling in this two hour candle. We see another gap here at 38 percent of our FIB, $105. And then we see another gap here at 50% of our FIB at $107. A few factors here, we do need to fill in this left liquidity created by these gaps here. And simply put, the RSI triggered a buying opportunity, which works in our favor. The RSI, it's going to continue to come up. And so long as the MACD indicator does show us weakness in this red bearish momentum, triggering our MACD indicator and our signal line crossing over, it is indeed going to fill these left liquidities that left the price itself left orders and most likely going to come up and retest $107 here. Now, the only thing that we will need to achieve these left orders or left liquidity is a jump start on our volume. Now, you'll notice at the very bottom here that the volume here was being sporadic and very minimal. If the uptrend itself is going to be supported by by the volume, it is going to be no brainer that we are going to come up to the 50%. If we don't see that volume increase as the price is going to come up, then we are most likely going to hit a rejection line on our 38% of our FIB at $105. But that's my observation here for Quad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Like and subscribe to the channel if you found this insightful, but I'll see you next time.